Welcome back to Let's Play Rise of the Argonauts. I'm Burning Dogface, and we're here on the Argo. To oh hey, sup your dudeness? This is a proud ship you have here, Jason. Sturdy, strong. I have Master Argos to thank for it. If I had a ship like this, those ten years hunting the Black Tongues would have been a lot more enjoyable. Tell me of the time you went against the Black Tongues. Their assassins had come for Alcine when she was a babe. But why? Ares warned me to the threat, and we thwarted the attempt. I was furious and decided Rather than cower waiting for another strike, I would take the fight to them. I had my spies make a list of every known black tongue in Greece. Then I began crossing names off that list. I left trails of Akatic blood across most of Greece, Persia, and parts of Egypt. We didn't stop until no more names were left. But it seems... Our list was incomplete. I should have known. Those adders were skilled at hiding in dark holes. I never heard exactly what the prophecy said. And I'm really trying to ignore the hair clipping through his uh, armor. Why are the Black Tongues so hell-bent on making sure Elsime is dead? What do you think of Achilles? great warrior, though sometimes he fights for the wrong reasons. I will not fault a man who fights for pride. That is strong. That is what Ares would do. But to fight for vanity is something else. He'll figure it out one day, and he'll be stronger for it. I have a feeling this voyage will do him good. I fight for hope. Let me know if you require anything. I take my leave. Yep, inside the room. Please don't kill me. Yes? We've put Mycenae behind us. King Lycomedes has joined us. The warrior Achilles and the smith Daedalus are with us too. Lycomedes. There was a time that name filled me with hatred. All the Black Tongues cursed him for his ruthlessness. Now, I think I'd like to thank him. I can bring him here. No, not yet. That might prove an unstable meeting. He's just down the hall, and you're on a boat. It's not like he couldn't just wander by and see her. Ah, well. Where's Daedalus? I figured he would be underground. Or under... Fuck, underground. Huh. Never looked up there, huh. Hello, my patron duders. Okay, let's see. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna skip this. Whatcha? Auriga is the sign of warlike Ares, who is the first to ride upon a chariot. Fashioned by Hephaestus himself, the chariot of Ares is drawn by four fire-breathing stallions, each made from the darkest obsidian and bridled in brilliant gold. It is said that as long as the will of Ares spurs it into battle, no living thing may stop his chariot's charge. Fuck yeah. Let's give that to him. For obvious reasons. And I got one new active ability. Solar Shield. If Jason blocks an enemy's attack, he damages that foe. I was really hoping that would be a, uh... Passive ability, but of course not. Let your shield reflect the glory of Apollo's light, and any foe who dares strike that guard will feel as if he struck the sun itself. Now then. Where was I? 
I got a few passive bonuses. I got a, got a nice one from Ares that uh, increases the, increases the damage of all my attacks. It's just called Fury. Ah, of course. Jason, I've been thinking about that armor I made for your arena trial. Patroclus made me rush to throw something together. It served its purpose then, but I didn't get to finish it the way I would have liked to. Okay. Now that I have some time, I'd like to scratch that itch. Fuck yeah. What do you have in mind? There are two things I could do. First, I could add some additional plating and improve the flexibility of the joints. This would increase the armor's defensive properties and should allow you to swing your weapons more powerful. I like the sound of that. The other thing I could do would be to improve upon its existing unique ability. When you strike down your enemies in battle, you will feel a rush of exhilaration and stamina. I could double this effect, I think. Mm. So, how would you like me to finish your arm? Power and resistance. Increase its power and resistance. As you wish, this will just take a moment. I don't know if I'd still there. wear that. Well, now that just... is something I can be proud of. If it's that naked, but... Your skill never uh. ceases to impress, Daedalus. How can I thank you? You've done more than enough for me, Jason. Consider this a sign of my gratitude for taking me aboard the Argo. May it serve you well. Jeez, this looks like something Death would wear. Here I thought I put Darksiders behind me. Fine, let's wear this for a while. Oh. Uh, that is a funky face. It's not quite as glamorous as the uh, Golden Lion armor, but... I've still got the, uh, the Shield of Yolkus, of course. No matter where I go, I'm still protected by a piece of my homeland. To talk to these guys out here. Did you just see that? Never mind. Hey, Pen. Is that my Sene? Uh, not a Sene. He will be singing your name on my Sene for generations. An innocent man who overcame an unjust charge. A hero of the arena. The savior of the king! Pan, you spend more time with the Oracle than me. What can you tell me? Let's see. Ah, I'll tell you the tale of how she became the Oracle. I asked her that once, and this is what she said. It was because I asked an answer. How's that? After the Oracle Pelagia ran off with her would-be assassin, the current Oracle was drawn to Delphi. But she did not have a question. No, she had an answer. And she did not seek an answer. She sought a question. Would she become the next Oracle? So her answer was yes. Uh, no. Her answer was the reflection of moonlight on sea folk. Um, I don't follow. Neither do I. I suppose that's why neither of us is the Oracle. Can <laughs> uh. you speak for the Oracle? What can you tell me of Apollo? With each passing deed you dedicate to Apollo, your future selves, who might stumble in the dark, grow fewer. The paths of Jason are increasingly paths of certainty and truth. Tell me of the aspects of Apollo. Apollo's light shines brightest in the darkest times. With his aspects, your fortitude and power, your very resolve will increase as the danger you face increases. And what powers does Apollo grant his champions? The power of light as a weapon or a shield. 
gifts of clarity and insight, or healing to recover from wounds. Tell me of Apollo's healing power. The power to heal is both mortal and divine. It is a creative force. In mortals, the art of healing depends upon the compendium of collective human knowledge. Apollo, whose understanding is perfect, heals perfect, instantly. Apollo's healing power is a great boon indeed. Call upon him, and his light will heal you, Jason. Golden armor is the upgraded version of the silver armor ability I have. Speak to me of Apollo's light. What force is stronger than the sun? The god of light. Ask to see his light. The god of sun. Ask that he shine upon you. His champions need only ask, and he will give to them his divine light such as you have never seen. And those who stand against them will be burned and blinded by its brilliance. I like the sound of that. Tell me of Apollo's shield. The sun itself is Apollo's shield, and it can be yours as well. Now, the sun nurtures, the sun restores, it feeds the crops and the trees, it warms the body, and soothes the mind. But the sun also destroys. It withers the fields and bakes the earth. Apollo commands the sun, does he not? And so his champions also nourish and also destroy. When destruction is your purpose, call upon him and let the fury of the sun infuse your shield. Any foolish enough to strike you will feel its power. Hell yeah! Tell me of Apollo's armor. Armed with a noble purpose, the champion of Apollo stands as a golden paragon upon the field of battle. No strike can bend him from their purpose. No force of arms can divert his focused will. The blade cuts shallow against him. The blow strikes softer. Apollo may help you shine in this way. Call upon him and be bathed in his radiance. Uh, that's everything, actually. That's all for now, then. Thank you. Scenery is beautiful, anyway. This should be interesting. Roasted lamb. On the spit. With fresh bread. Bowl of bean soup. With olives and vinegar. A stew of pork. With figs and cheese. No, no. Eels. Grilled eels with oil and herbs. Oh, yes. Eels it is. But what will we have to drink? I say, Lesbos wine with honey. You torture me, Achilles. What I'd give for a bowl of fresh goat's milk. Jason, we've decided on our dinner. Inform Argos we shall have fresh eels with Lesbos wine to drink. I will tell him straight away. Though I would not be surprised if your eels resembled barley gruel and your wine seemed a bit watered down. Can water be watered down? I'd settle for water wined down at this point. <laughs> you won the hearts of an entire island, Jason. Must feel good. Those are Alcides. So in a way, they're my people too. Can't have them thinking their princess made a bad choice of husbands. I think you proved that. After all, she picked an arena champion. Leaving will be difficult. You'll miss Mycenae? Oh, not difficult for me. For my adoring followers. 
Who will they cheer for now? People want their princess back. They'll be supporting all of us now. I suppose. You know, it's the children I worry about. They're here, sailing away. So, Achilles, what's your story? You're a king and a chronicler, are you? Very well. My father was Peleus, ruler of Aegina, commander of the Myrmidons. My mother was the scene of Thetis. Oh. Besides their one night of passion, they never really got on. My mother bore me on the shores of Mycenae and then returned to the sea. Who raised you? I was taken in by a soldier, but I barely knew him. He went off to fight in Lycomedes' crusade and never returned. Who taught you how to fight, then? The gladiators. At first I learned by watching, then by doing. By 15, there wasn't a gladiator in Patroclus' stable who could beat me. How did you become champion of Mycenae? The champion before me was an Ethiop named Joppa. Now Joppa is a giant of a man. Not bad, but a bit long in the tooth. I liked him though. Night before the fight, I went to him and said, Joppa, we both know I'm going to win tomorrow. But because I like you, I'm not going to kill you. How'd he take the news? I'll never forget it. He said, you kill me, or I kill you. Either way, the crowd will cheat. And they did. I'm sure Patroclus took notice of that. The man knew talent. I'll give him that. He got me to sign a contract to fight for him. One that ended conveniently enough when he died. He forced you to sign? No. The wine and the women forced me to sign. <laughs> Mostly. Eventually, I tired of settling accounts with him, so I made him a deal. I got him to agree to a private room and all the food and wine I could consume. Then, I made him promise me a new woman for every man I killed in his arena. He had no idea what he was getting himself into. Ha! And have you always favored a spear? I used to fight with two swords. After word spread about my wondrous ability, the other fighters began to wear more and more armor. I entered the arena and see men cowering behind shields as big as stable doors. The spear makes it easier to pry open clans like that. Plus, I get less blood on me striking from a distance. And the spear you carry now? Ah, this spear. I had this spear made for me by a master smith of Lemnos. After watching several matches, he realized that my skill was so astounding, my spear would need two hits to keep up. Hmm. That's all for now, Achilles. Hey! What good timing. I just had that conversation with, uh, Anne. This has been an enlightening episode. And finally. We put my Sene behind us. But the time's come to set our course. Where to, Jason? Let's avoid the ghosts and the zombies for as long as we can, okay? We sail for Saria. As you say. Cutscene. Listen closely, Skiaf. I want him dead. I want his shield and that ship returned to Yotas. We have agents close enough to reach Saria before. See that they are there to welcome. What? Nisirios? Nisiros. Huh. Pre-rendered. Oh. Oh dear. It's definitely for the best then that uh, Medea is staying on the boat.
Well, I'm Burning Dog Face, and this has been another exciting episode, <laughs> if not particularly action-packed, of Let's Play Rise of the Argonauts. We'll be together again. I'll see you next time when we go ashore on Saria and see how things are going. Later!